Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Chum here, and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Ultra Sign Nuzlocke, which is actually on the consecutive day of the previous episode. I know, it's been a long time. Anyway, I don't want to waste any time, so we're just going to jump straight into it. As you guys can see, we are at the new island, and we're in Mali City, and it's called Akala Island. I almost, I got all the things mixed up. Now, real quick, I don't think we need to heal up, but I'm obsessive, so we're healing up. And we can slow things down a little bit. And we'll actually, um, investigate what items we might need to buy. Because we might need to buy some. As you guys can see, we have to go to the Mali Garden to meet up with our good friend, Professor Kukwe. But that can wait. Oh my god. You beat Malo's Trial. I did that like a year ago, dude. Keep up. I thought it was going to be like, you beat the Grand Trial. You're so amazing. And I'm like, yeah, dude, that's me. Yeah, dude, that's me. Every time we do that voice, it reminds me of the surfer dude in um, Spongebob. The guy who was all like, that's totally radical, dude. That guy. I love it. I love that dude. I love Spongebob, man. I don't know I don't know why I'm talking about Spongebob all of a sudden. This is super random, but it is what it is. It's been so long since I've recorded. I don't know how to talk about things while I, while I play games. It's weird. It's such a strange sensation. While I was over um, with my cousins in Melbourne, I was actually... Um, like playing a bunch because whenever those guys were away um like you know they obviously have their own lives they have they have work they have stuff like that so whenever they were you know at work or whatnot i was like i'm gonna play some games and i was playing a butt ton of star wars battlefront and it was just so calming to play it like and just just play it there's nothing else and i don't do that often you know just chill i mean it's one of those games that I'd normally be like hey this is only fun if i play with friends but i was playing solo and i was having a blast it was great it was interesting oh no i had a great idea chum come on let's have a battle don't send out brion first and we're fine with that all right let's get all right then let's go full power on this one i want my pokemon to follow me how come how gets to... you know there was the theory right that you're the rival in um in Pokemon Sun and Moon because uh you always did things first. If you guys remember back to the original games, like Gary and Silver and everyone, they would do things before you. You rock up to a gym and oh god he did leave Brion. Of course he leaves Brion. Why wouldn't he leave Brion? It's level 30. Oh my god, you wanna calm down, bro? Let's get Oliver out here. Watch me get ice beam to death. Um But yeah, if you look back at Generation 1 and Generation 2, um Gary slash Blue or Silver slash whatever the hell you named him, he would always go first. Like he'd, he'd go to a gym and he'd say, like, oh, you know, Gary was here or whatever kind of thing. He would say, oh, people who have completed this gym, it, it lists people. And you'd always do things after them. And then, you know, like obviously, like I said, they'd be ahead of you. And people noted that in this game, you're ahead of how all the time. You know, I did Olivia's trial before him. I did um, so many things before him. I'm gonna heal up real quick just in case this guy does have any kind of ice move. I know I know it's pretty crazy for him to have one. Like, it doesn't make sense. It pretty much goes against the game's logic. If you have this starter, let's let's use it against his starter. Um but yeah, also, again, he has a starter that was weak to your starter. Normally that like in traditionally, um, your rival would always pick the Pokemon who's strong against your starter. Right? So there's all these different little things that kind of make you think, hey, maybe I do I have the right Z power? Nope. Um, maybe we're the rival. And when you think about it, the rival never had his Pokemon walking around with him. It was only ever the protagonist that did. So maybe, just maybe, how actually is the protagonist, because he gets to walk around with Brion, which is way better than being able to, you know, do everything else in the game. Are we switching out? He's Flareon. Wow, memes. And do you reckon we can safely go into... Lycanroc? I don't think so. I'm scared. I'm so afraid that Lycanroc's gonna die. Actually, let's go into um, Jupiter because he's kind of falling behind. I'm pretty sure Mud's Bray. Mud, Mud, Mud Bray and Mud's Dale. This is one of those things where I just keep confusing words. Fire Bang, watch you do like a whole three damage. Wow. Flareon is strong, dude. Like, I'm, I'm water bubbled, bro. I have water bubble. And he's still blowing me back. Fire Bang again? Watch him burn me. Oh wait, it doesn't matter because I'm using a special move. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Some of you guys liked 
the Japanese voice, and today is the return of the Japanese voice. It's not even Japanese. I'm not even saying anything in Japanese. It's just like I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. But we're gonna go with Hydro Vortex. I don't know. I get so much enjoyment out of that. It's so funny. I, I think it's fun. I feel like I'm in an anime, and that's 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 exciting. We can just flare and get blown back by this water bubble boosted Z move. I almost forgot the name of it, even though I just said it. We get a level. That's good to see. I feel like we're still we need to we need to train, dude. His Pokemon are higher level than us, and I'm not okay with that. We don't need Arc Ring. We actually have this thing called potions. Way better. And Al ooh, Al think it's 28 as well. And once on synthesis. Now, again, we have potions. Noibat. Okay. Mmm. Let's just go into fish. I want I want to get Celsius some experience so he can become a magma, but. I shouldn't be afraid of- I shouldn't be afraid of a Noibat. Of all the Pokemon in this game, I should not be afraid of a Noibat. I probably- it's just- I feel like the battle's gonna take forever if I try to use, um... If I try to use Celsius, because... I mean... You know... It is what it is. It's, it'll take forever because he resists my stab, that's what it is. And Brion. Oh. I've never heard of this Pokemon before. Should we go into Buzzard? Because we have, um... Nothing, never mind. I guess. Part of me was like, I'll go into Magby. And I was like, wait, that's a really bad idea. Let's not do that. Also, I don't know if you noticed, guys, but I have this really cool Star Wars mug. What do you reckon? Rated out of 10. It's pretty cool, right? You might have seen it when I took a first sip. And I, I was going to mention that um, I'm actually prepared for the fact that I might have a coughing fit with water. So we're ready to go. Watch me get crit killed. I'm so, like, afraid that I'm going to lose Pokemon because... It's gonna sound weird, but it's been too long since I lost a Pokemon. I normally don't get this far without losing many, many, many Pokemon. But apparently this game's being generous. I think I looked at my list of Pokemon that I'd lost the other day, and I've only lost three of them. I believe it was Muck, not Muck, Grimer, um, Mankey, and someone else. I'm so sorry for forgetting. I can mean I can pull it up. I might pull it up. Let's pull it up. We're doing it. Uh, who is it? There it is. I have it on my Google Keep. Did he crit me? I don't know. And Wingull. Grimer, Mankey, and Wingull. The only three Pokemon that I've lost so far in this Nuzlocke. How crazy is that? Like, my team right now is amazing as well. I would love to have this team throughout the entire game. Nope. I don't want to deal with this thing. Let's go into... I mean, it's pretty obvious, Bot Stallion. Yeah. I was gonna be like, oh, maybe we'll go into Magby and switch out, but I'm scared, man. There's, we shouldn't switch train against our our rival and or our protagonist who we are the rival of. I don't know, it's weird. I gotta say, I do love uh, Alolan Raichu. I have one in my other playthrough. Although he kind of became redundant pretty quickly. Wow. That might have one-shot me without Eviolite. I should invest in the dark ground type Pokemon. I'm scared. But we're just gonna do it. I'm just gonna. We're just gonna do it. Gonna throw Celsius in. And we're just gonna do it. Now, I don't know what Taurus wants to do. But I wanna run away. I love having a baby Pokemon because the camera looks so cool being so low to the ground. It's awesome. Um. If you have a ground type move, Tauros, I swear on everything. I swear on everything. Horn attack, good. Honestly, I don't know what it is about Tauros, but he is so scary. Like, whenever I look at Tauros, I feel like I'm staring down an engine of destruction. But, when you really think about it, it doesn't get that great moves. Like, Yo, did it outspeed me? Hello? I'm a lichen rock, bro. Maybe that's why it's scary, because it's so fast. I mean, it has four legs, and look at them, they're huge. Wait. I just remembered. Wasn't How afraid of a Tauros back in Howley City, but now he caught one of his own? Like, I mean, props to you, How, on your character development, but interesting. 
to say the least. But yeah, look at him. Look at look at his legs. He has okay. Look at the size of Taurus's legs compared to Lycanroc's legs, man. Taurus can definitely have speed. He has three tails. He can literally spin them like a fan to boost him. Like, that's kind of wild. I mean, I'm surprised Taurus isn't the fastest Pokemon. Like, just I can totally picture Taurus with his propelling tail and his giant legs outrunning a Deoxys speed. Because what is it? He has two legs. And then, like, flimsy little arms. Like, what are they going to do? Nothing. I don't get how we're so fast. It's like some kind of magic. Or, you know, psychic power. I don't know. I don't know why I'm ranting about Deoxys. I love Deoxys. <laughs> you know what, chum? You should take this too. The Lycanium Z. Lycanium Z. Damn it. It came with a set with those big mild sliders that Miss Week gave me, but I don't plan on adding any Lycanroc to my team or anything. Bro. I literally have a Lycanroc in my party, and Wick gives the Lycanium Z to how? How is that even logical? Sorry for the pun. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We got it now. It's and like... What I don't understand is, why didn't she give it to us? Like, this literally happened like 30 seconds ago. Apart from the fact that there was an episode skip. Like, it literally happened like 30 seconds ago. You and your Pokemon look like you were having a blast, chum. I guess it's like my Gramps said. Go beyond winning and losing and learn to find joy in any battle. Then you'll find that you're getting stronger before you even know it. Anyway. Yeah, I don't know why. I mean, maybe this like battle was a rite of passage to earn like an EMZ. I don't know, but I still think it's strange. You know what else is super, super, super strange? Steam notifications. What? You mad that I still don't seem to be getting all that much stronger? Man, I'd be fuming. Alright, bye, Steam. I shall hope not. Me and my partner ought to be totally in sync with one another. We'll get there, buddy. Now, I guess we should go. Track, try to track down the Professor Kukui in Molly Garden, right? We will do that. Bro, I just healed up. You're right. No, I'm not going to talk to you. Don't worry. Rotom. I say it in like every episode, but enough with the sad eyes, bro. Oh, God. Alright, let's heal up. Rotom's saying some nonsense in the bottom screen. Who should we I think we'll put Celsius out front again. I feel like... Um... I feel like, uh, sure. I don't know what road I was talking about, but sure. I just, I just want to use the road of lottery. He was still sad after we talked to each other. Bro, give me, give me the boost. I literally got Roto boost on endingly in the, my in my previous playthrough, and now I get garbage like this. It's like the game doesn't want me to have fun. He's still sad. Like, bro, can you get over it? Uh, I'm definitely battling. Yo, hello. I don't know why. Ooh, yo, back to back Roto Lottery, dude. This is what I call talent. I don't know why I'm just like spamming this, but hey, I'll take it. I'm never going to get an egg in a Nuzlocke, bro. I'm never going to get an egg in a Nuzlocke. And never, never, never again. Mate, Roto needs to calm down with all this nonsense. Give me some cool item, please. No? Okay. Th thanks. Bye. There's another one. I'll admit, this place is really good looking, and I'd love to see this place in, um, in Nintendo Switch Land. I heard that they serve tea somewhere here in Mali Garden. I'll start searching from the bridge here. Why don't you try around the edge of the garden? Mate, you're literally just forcing me through grass for no reason. Like, bro. Why are you gonna do- why are you gonna be like this? I, I never understood like this. Like, why? Why? Why stop me from walking through here? It's just, it's rude. Um, you can't call ride Pokemon. I mean, it's literally a sign right next to me. I believe there's items this way, so I'm gonna try to Ryan. Tr tr Ryan? What? We're gonna try run and grab them. I'm fumbling on all my words. Hey, kid, what's up? You got no items for me? Good. Bye. Hey, buddy. We're gonna battle, and I'm gonna blow you back. Let's go. This might end up being a pretty slow episode, despite the the, the fun, the fast start. We're only, we're only going 15 minutes, so a lot of things could happen, but it's going to be a lot of talking and exploring a random area. We have a OG Raticate. An original a gangster Raticate. The double kick. Pursuit. Man, I ain't switching out. You think I'm afraid of you? Look at you, you're a pathetic little rodent. Not even little, you're a pathetic huge rodent. It's even more embarrassing. I think 
I was gonna be like, I think high horsepower will finish it off, but one might as well go for double kick if it does enough damage. Pursuit again, bro. You're the one who should be running away. You know, I once had a friend tell me because he watched some of my videos, and he told me he loves it when I trash talk NPCs, like literally non-existent beings. I'm literally trash talking code right now, and it's just like, I don't know why I do it. Don't judge me. But he enjoys it, and I'm sure you guys enjoy it too, otherwise you wouldn't be watching me. I don't know, I, f I find it funny. Because I don't trash talk people often. I definitely do it. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a saint. But what did I say? What did I say? I love that he's like trying to Google Translate. I like how Google just in in instinctively part of the word translate. Google is, will soon take over the entire world, and that kind of spooks. Yo, but Stellan's the highest level Pokemon right now. On par with this situation. I mean, Dartrix. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our first encounter. What is it going to be? Ooh. Ooh. Sorry. I'll take it. Uh, let's go for a quick... Oh, no. The reason I say, oh, no... It's because I think this is four times super effective. I literally, I literally, literally did not click a fire move because I was like, oh, it's stab. It'll be stronger. What if I just pick the other super effective move that, that, that isn't stab. It'll be weaker. But no, it wasn't. I'm not going to bother learning Confuse Red because, you know what? I ain't about that life. Well, we had to make a mistake at some point. Not just because I'm kind of fresh back into the game, but because I'm just bad at the game. Grassy Seed. Bro. What does that do again? Extends grassy terrain? I don't know. Maybe. Who knows? I'm sorry, Whimsicott. I'm, I mean, potential Whimsicott, whatever the Pokemon that we just saw was Cottony, was it called? Why can't, well, I don't get this. Why? Why does that thin bit of grass exist? It's, it, 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 it tilts me. Anyway, let's actually make our way properly to where we're meant to go. Don't do it. Good. Does this little girl want to battle me? She does. Sup? Don't, don't ask me why I crept up on her from behind while in the cover of a tree. I'm not a, I'm not a creep. I was helping her practice and being vigilant, and she was vigilant. I don't know what I'm talking about. We're just going to focus on the battle. A Cleffa? All right. We need to focus up right now, because this thing... This thing could metronome Hydro Cannon me right now. Yo. Magby has never been the biggest Pokemon in the field. Today is his day right now. This is wild. He is the biggest mon on the field. Critical hit! Magical Leaf. Bruh. What are you doing? not very effective. Let's go for a flame charge because the uh... Actually we probably would have killed even though the last one's a crit. We definitely did more than 60%. Oh we got it. Look at Mag B carrying his weight. Destro- That gave me like half a pixel of XP. Disgraceful. Absolutely disgraceful. Do we need to go all the way to the top? We can't- I don't- dude, I don't get this. What's your problem? What are you doing? How are you projecting such a huge aura around yourself? Like, sure, the things that Game Freak used to do to keep you from going across a certain path was weird, but it's even weirder when you put something small and make it block a huge area of the path. It's, it's, it's very strange. Can I battle you? No, you just talk to me. I don't, I don't care about what you have to say, woman. Let's ignore Kukui for now, real, real quickly. We're just gonna go to the back corner and get the items. Oh, never mind. We're going battle. When I'm traveling, I just want to point out everything. Oh yeah? Did you have to point that out to me too? Because that's kind of pointless. But you know what? I understand. You do, you do, you. Sighty Akali. What do you got, Raichu? OG Raichu? Wow, cool Pokemon, bro. Yo, I really, 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 really wish that they put Kanto in, in Generation 7 because it would make the most sense, man. Like, 
having us go to a, even a small smidgen of Kanto, it didn't have to be the whole region, give us like an, maybe the orange, imagine if we had the orange islands. Because it would make sense, because we're all about traveling between islands, then we go to the orange islands, and that'd be so much fun, and that could be where you go to evolve your Pokemon into the original versions, into, like, you know, that's where you can evolve Pikachu into Raichu instead of Alolan Raichu. It made so much sense. And then Game Freak was like, we could, but no. I'm tilted. It's been a... It's been a year and I'm still tilted. Also, do we really have to miss the 95? Do you really have nothing for me except a Tail Whip? And before, like, Focus Punch and I missed the high, high, um, high horsepower so I just get blown back. Ooh, goodbye. Speaking of blown back... You know, I say that I need to train, but the fact that her Pokemon is the highest level you know, is the highest level of my Pokemon. It's, it's, it's alright. And she only had one Pokemon, so that was probably about the highest that a trainer's Pokemon could be. Then again, we know this game, literally everyone has one Pokemon. Like, maybe I'm the weirdo. Maybe having one Pokemon is completely normal, and I'm the weirdo for having six. Yo, should we do a solo run with a Pokemon? I think that'd be fun. Actually, common question of the day. If you were going to do a solo run with any Pokemon, what Pokemon would it be? Because part of me is like, I should solo run with my mascot, Charizard. But then I know everyone's going to be like, Ew, it's a Charizard solo run. Charizard's so overrated. I would have liked to quite a, catch a Poliwhirl. Too bad I blew back. Bro, Rotom. Literally just called me Roto C. You know how he was spouting nonsense? And I was like, Bruh, what are you on right now? And then I just said, sure. He was asking if if I could, if he could call me Roto C. Because something about how we've been friends for so long and we should do nicknames for each other. And he wants to call, and I said yes. And now he actually called. Okay, I really have to get created by the, if he hits me five times. What's he gonna say? Nothing is more tilting than double slap hitting five times. It's like, what? It's called Double Slap. I don't get to hit you five times with my double kick. He crit on the first one. That That's better. It's not good because you still crit me, but it's better. Wait, why am I fighting this thing? I can run from it. Rain Dance. Yo. Was it a Poliwhirl that killed my Gabite in Pokemon X? I mean, yeah, Pokemon X. I swear it was. Poliwhirl in the rain. Because it's just way too powerful. Was that with the Pokemon? It must have been. Or was it something else? I swear with Poliwhirl. I also feel like that's wrong. But Poliwhirl in the rain, it, it brings back bad memories. Whether or not that memory is accurate, brings back bad memories. Let's grab this item real quick. You know, I really, I really, I really, really badly want to use a repel to get through this grass, but... We're just gonna have fate! We got nowhere. Oh, hello. Arachnid. You should be slow, so you shouldn't attack me. And I should run away. With no problem, what? Thank you. I just realized that if it attacked me, I was going to get blown so far back. All right, we're good. We're clear. Let's go talk to Kukui and do all that sort of shenanigans. Yo, I lied in the last episode. I'm, I'm sorry. I said that I was going to do the gym in this episode. Actually, you know what? We are going to do the gym. Let's just get through this really quickly and we're going to try the gym. Because I don't want to be a liar. Even though I, I tend to say things a lot and then have them not come true. Which is bad. I should probably stop that bad habit. Anyway. Ho, oh, Professor Kukui. Hey there. What's going on with you two? Your eyes are shining extra bright today. Did something happen? Did something big happen? It sure did. Professor, Professor, you got to hear this. An ultra wormhole opened up, like, right in front of us. And there really are ultra beasts in them. And a aliens from other worlds, too. You've got to tell Professor Burnett as well. Woo! You've got to see an Ultra Wormhole and an Ultra Beast? And folks from another world? That is amazing! Oh yeah! Sounds like you're an even better reason to train hard. Yeah, on our island challenge. On your island challenge. Maybe someday we'll be able to go through the Ultra Wormhole. Yo, that day is going to be... Maybe in stream week, I don't know. Alright, your next trial is up on Mount Hokulani. You can catch the bus to get there. Just head to the bus stop on Route 10, yeah? You guys can go ahead without me, Professor. I've got a hot date with a Malasada shop. 
And I'm gonna get my Pokemon some treats, so they'll start to really like me. Watch that, good buddy. I'm waiting at the bus stop, Charm, whenever you're ready to go. See, look, he's always he's always behind us. We're always ahead of him. We do everything first, because we are the rival. Hey, Charm, did you know? Know what? There's an observatory up on Mount Hakalani. And you know what it is they do at an observatory, right? I hope you do, because I sure as heck don't. I'm out. All right, later, bro. Later, bro. Now, this time we could wave, but last time how I was waving someone, we just stood there like an idiot. Yo, we have time. We have all the time in the world. Let's go. Let's do this gym. I hope I don't lose a Pokemon in this gym. I don't think I don't think this gym will be like some kind of weird battle facility. We should be fine. It'll be all right. Let's go heal up and do the gym and have. Actually, you know what? Now nah, we'll do it. Yolo. Because part of me is like it's going to be a level thirty cap, but I'm way below level thirty, so I'm going to get blown back. I could be right. Let's find out. Let's go. Or should we do it in next episode? I know I'm been te I'm teasing it right. No, but if it's as big as I think it is, it's gonna take like at least fifty. Never mind. Never mind. We have Lily to deal with. I've never been disappointed to see Lily. That's that's it's a, it's a strange feeling. I love Lily. Oh, chum! I'm glad I ran into you. I was actually wondering. What, what do you think of her? The president of the Ether Foundation, I mean. She was nice. Is, is that right? Of course, she must be nice. She's trying to protect Pokemon, isn't she? Um, anyway, I really want to ask you about was... Is it about Nebby? Yes, I want to take Nebby to visit Ula Ula Ruins, but they're located deep in a large desert. I don't want to ask that much of you. Right, now I'm planning to visit Mali Library. It's a book that I want to look up there. Maybe you even be willing to help me? I know that Mali Library is here within the city of Mali somewhere. Even I should be able to find it. I can do this. I'm holding very tightly onto my mug so I can get a drink because I need to cease the, the coffee shenanigans. Alright, we are, we are healed up. I think what we should do is we should go talk to Lily. We'll put that behind us and then we'll do the gym in the next episode. I'm telling you, man. Once I start coughing, I can't see, and it's really, really, really tilting. Look at all the look at all the stickers here. Good lord. Actually, you know what? We're 28 minutes deep. So nope. <laughs> Alright, I was gonna say, so we'll save this conversation for later, but I had to I just had to let my OCD take over me and make me step into the middle of the footpath and that's when I was like, oh no, it started. Anyway, chum, I'm sorry I ended up getting lost yet again. I wandered all around until I ducked into a, the power shop and I saw this outfit and they said it was the last one they had in stock so I bought it. Even though I don't think I'd ever have the guts to wear an outfit like it, huh. But the woman working at the store did tell me where to find the library so I guess you could say it was all for the best. Though the library was actually right past the power store if I just kept going. Yo, her, like, dot eyes is the funniest thing. Eek! Yeek. Yeek! Ah, oh, chum, been a while, friend. Looks like your island challenge is coming along favorably. That must be pleasing to the tapu. So, chum, who might this be? Oh, hello, my name is Lily. My apologies if Mudsdale spooked you just now. Doesn't seem like you're a trial girl. What are you up to? Oh, I'm actually studying the Tapu's ruins for various reasons of my own. Well, that's some fine initiative. I'll be happy to show you the way whenever you'd like to go. Wherever you'd like to go. My Mudsdale here is as sturdy as all get out. She can easily carry too. Thank you for the offer. Look at that Mudsdale. We'll soon have one of our own. And then we will rule the galaxy. Shall we check out my library first though, since we're here? Lily, don't like being forced inside. The book that I'm looking for is a very old one. It's a book that contains old myths and legends that Professor Burnett told me about. Those tales seem to suggest that Alola's legendary Pokemon came from another world. Does that mean that Lola... Uh, Lola? 
Lola? Does that mean Alola doesn't have its own inherent legendary Pokemon? Like, it just is a land without one? Because technically, if it came from somewhere else, it's not because of it. It could have landed anywhere. It didn't have to land at Alola. Let's real quick grab this Fly TM from this random lady here. I think I can spam A through the conversation and get it. Science! Alright guys, so we are going to call it an episode here. It has been 30 minutes. And I always say I want to keep it to somewhere between 25 and 30, but I always be like, Oh, we have three minutes before it's 30. Let me do another 10 minute activity. Because I'm just a weirdo like that. Anyway guys, like I said, it's going to be the end. In the next episode, we will talk to Lily at the top of the stairs and, you know, surprise uh, character as well. I'm sure you guys know who it is. Um, but yeah, and then we'll check out the gym and make our way towards Route 10. Or through Route 10 and towards Mount Hokulani. So it should be good. Anyway, guys, like I said, it's going to be the end. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button. And of course, if you guys want to see more episodes from this series as they come out, hit that subscribe button also because it's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to try and breeze or blast through this game as quick as possible and move on to a new series. Not sure what it's going to be yet, but I'm looking forward to it already. So without further ado, once again, I want to thank you guys for watching. And until next time, I hope you guys have a wonderful day.